Debbie Peverell, and this is number three in our five series of basic questions the board should be able to answer. So what we've talked about previously is figuring out why your organization exists. Um, nailing that down will help you get closer to achieving your goals, of course. The second part was who do you serve? Who is your target market? Who are the people that you're trying to provide services to if you're a nonprofit? And the third question is, as we see on the board, what's the plan for fulfilling your mandate? So you know where you're going, what's the plan for getting there? One of the, uh, the examples I would use is a food bank, which I used in the first one, is you've got a new board member, they come to the first board meeting and they say, okay, our plan is to eliminate hunger. How, how are we doing that exactly? And you look around the board and hopefully somebody has an idea of how we're eliminating hunger. As I've said before, that's a good reason for board turnover all by itself. So maybe you have some new ideas coming to solve old problems of how you're going to you know, get close to achieving your goals. So the, the plan, the plan is part of your strategic planning process. The plan will help you determine if you're making any progress towards whatever it is that the goal is. So, you know, one of the things about that is you don't want to set some airy-fairy goal that's, you know, we want to increase participation, blah, blah, blah. What you want to do is say, okay, our plan is to increase participation by 5% or 10 people or pick a number. If you can set something down that's easy to measure, then you're going to be able to figure out if you're getting close to your goals or not. So thank you. This is the third of five, and two more to come. Thanks very much.